Oh, she needs one more fish. Can you fish? No, not while you're in labeler, apparently. Oh, you are one away. You couldn't hold it inside of you a little longer. Hi, frolicking friends, and welcome back to my channel for another episode of the 100 Baby Gems. As you can see, our cute little twinsies, Pendant and Locket, are playing princess dolls together in their matching Moo Moo onesies, which I think is so cute. And pretty soon, definitely this episode, they'll have a new little sibling, a little brother or sister, I'm not sure yet, um, which will be super exciting. So if you're new to my channel, um, my name is Morgan and I love playing with Berry Sims. Um, I love the extra color in my game and I hope that I can make you have appreciation for it too with this cute little save where we have lots and lots of babies and see how the colors and genetics play out. Don't you use your diaper pendant. Hold on to your britches. Mommy's on the way. Okay, I think I think we're gonna be okay. But but what are you doing putting yourself on your bed? Is she doing what I asked her to do? She's talking to him, her on the bed like, okay, let's be efficient. We have potty training to do. We need to take this seriously. We're trying to potty train twins with more babies on the way and we do not have the tiny lot hat house this time around so we you know it's gonna take a long time to get them potty trained oh stop making a mess girl where are you oh okay well now that you have <laughs> ended set up let's come punish uh we'll be firm express our disappointment with making a mess and not a good plan there sister Teach to say sorry. Like, you don't do it. Let's practice saying sorry because you need to know how to do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send you to work today, even though I'd love your help at home. I feel like Morganite can handle it. Oh, Wolf Spain and Locket just became good friends. Cute. I have the twins working on what's that laps. <laughs> So I'm having setting them back and forth between the chess table and the toilet here. So it's working on both their movement skill and their thinking skill. Oh, left behind because Mama Wolf Spain went to work. You're okay. Woohoo! Look at all these sparkling crops ready to be evolved, ready to be harvested. That's exciting. Wow, I think all of them, except for the ones that I had planted last night. Oh, even some of those are ready. Wow. I did put in the uh, um, gardening neighborhood action plans. Maybe that's partially why. Spray for bugs. Just, you know, work on our gardening. And I'm excited that our roses are growing in. As you can see, we're really low on money. Our bills are super expensive so we definitely need to start bringing in some more money if we're gonna survive the next set of bills oh baby's big enough to use the stairs now our what's that lapse paid off yeah she's almost movement level three which is excellent oh my gosh a little rabbit has wandered into the house and i'm gonna have a little pendant try to talk with it Oh, what can be cuter? Toddlers and bunnies. Oh no, Chocolate Diamond, don't leave. Don't leave. You were happy last night. I was checking on you. Oh, look at them. Just chatting. I wish she could. Can she hug? Oh, pat the bunny. Pat the bunny. Oh my gosh. Pet Bushy Tail. I need to get some screenshots of this cuteness. Oh my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, it rolls over on its back. Oh, best friends. 
baby. <laughs> oh, that has got to be the cutest interaction. Aww. All right, but we were supposed to be getting you food. Um, let's give you some breakfast scramble. And you're eating your strawberry jam crumpets like a cutie pie over here. And then you need to go to sleep. Okay, I just did the sell all interaction. It looks like she's gonna be making a good amount of money from those roses, so that's excellent. Although I'm realizing I probably should have had her just harvest these so that we can plant more roses. Like, what am I thinking? We need to like grow our crop first and then, and then we can start selling. So let's go ahead and plant a few of those roses because that's going to be our money maker this generation is our garden. And I know roses are quite pricey. Oh yeah, chocolate diamond. Let's clean your shed and call. Okay, let's clean up the shed, get chocolate diamond a little happier. All right, let's clean up little chocolate diamond. Give her some food. Oh, we still don't have any treats. <laughs> Wolfspain <laughs> brought in less money than it we made selling the roses. That's so sad. <laughs> I may almost need to have her, well, she can just work from home more and like that way she can help out with the garden. What's this guy? Oh, don't tell me we're gonna be fined. Ugh, we don't have money. Now, Chocolate Diamond, let's not kick the pregnant woman. Good girl. We'll hook up your little udders. Okay, we're in compliance with all the neighborhood action plans. I feel like, um, and there's gonna be a reduction in our bills. Hallelujah. That's great news, because we're poor. Good girl. <laughs> Cute. Oh. Pregnant woman needs to go to the bathroom. Moments away from peeing ourselves. Ah, Mama's coming over. She looks kind of sad though. We did have some sort of family friend that I'd never heard of die and like she's sad, but she's not that sad about it, which thankful for that. Well, Spain actually hates video gaming, but okay, she's not getting fun from that. Um, she needs to get her, well, there's one way we can get her fun up. Morganite, after you pee and maybe eat, but their TV, I feel like, doesn't work. We'll see if it's working today. Okay, now it's working. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't working the other day, so she can get her fun up that way. We can leave Morganite alone. Oh, you broke the potty. And the sink? You've got to be kidding me, girl. We have a baby on the way. We can't be uh, repairing things every two seconds. We'll go get some food. How dare you insult your very pregnant wife, Wolfsbane. Go calm yourself down, girl. What can you do? Do any of the plants need? Oh, you can come uh, plant this rose and water everything and go calm yourself down. Morganite didn't do anything. Aw, Flora's inviting us to the bluffs. I would go if there was fishing there, but I don't think there is, and that would be the only reason I would leave the house right now. Sorry, Flora. You can come over here. <laughs> All the family's calling us. Oh, you want to chat? Oh, Alexandra, I, we're trying to sleep. I'm sorry. But this hundred baby life is and farm life combined it takes a lot of energy out of you. Oh, okay, yes, you can come hang out here. That is totally fine. You can come over, but we can't go anywhere right now. Here, I thought Alexandrite was gonna be a doll and help us fix stuff, but I think she's just having conversations with herself in the mirror. Darn. Are you sure? Everyone's just sad and depressed by whoever passed away. Oh, good girl. I guess you're doing our laundry. That's helpful. Thanks, Alexandrite. Oh, 
<laughs> you folded it first, but you can't put it away, I guess, because you're not part of the household. But still, that's nice. Look at these two just having a cute little conversation together. I wish it wasn't such a late slash early time. We're on a weird sleeping schedule in this family because I would love for them to go out to a park and have Morganite do some fishing, but I feel like that's irresponsible to take our toddlers out at 12 a.m. <laughs> I always find that the thinking skill is the hardest skill to get up on these kids, so I have Morganite doing some flash cars with little pendant and... Yeah, she seems a little bit frustrated with the aspect of having to do it. Oh, she's thinking about how the kids are growing up so fast. Yeah, they are. They'll be ready for their birthdays soon. Um, I'm not too worried about getting their skills up to level five just because they're not going to be heirs. Um, and so we're at level two for movement, potty, and thinking for Locket. And then Pendant is um, only level three for movement, but she's super close on communication and imagination. And she just got to level two of thinking. Locket's my little independent girl, so she definitely is a little bit ahead on her skills. I have her doing a what's that lapse again. <laughs> oh, oh, little Pendant was just trying to do some gardening. Funny girl. Taking after your mama, already wanting to help out with the farm. You're cute. Such a cute baby. Aww. So I had Wolfsbane go ahead and work from home because she needs to reach level 3 gardening before she can get promoted anyway. And I feel like she's just way more helpful with our garden at home than the hundred bucks that she makes by sending her into work. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. So yeah, we're just having her harvest all the flowers and take care of our buddy infested garden. Look at all of those rabbits. There's like seven of them that I'm counting right now. It's insane. I have the cute little toddlers taking a little nap in their little play tent just because how cute is that curled up together sleeping in there? Cute. Wolfsbane just reached gardening level three, so that's excellent. So I think she might get promoted today. Of course, we won't find out till tomorrow, but still. Wait a second. <laughs> Ruby, shouldn't you already know your brother? But I guess go for it. I really hope that just means in a friendship sort of way. I'm getting Wolfsbane to make a flirty sculpture, and I'm really curious to see what that means and what that looks like. Uh, flirty sculpture. Is it like a heart? I hope so. Something like that. So I went ahead and I got them to come to this custom park that I put down in Sulani that is full of all sorts of playthings for toddlers and kids because I'm going to get Morganite to do some fishing and, you know, hopefully she doesn't go into pregnant while we're here because she could give birth any minute now. While Morganite does her fishing, I'm going to get Wolfsbane to do some flash cards with Pendant, and they just became good friends. And then I told Locket to come play in the ball pit. Um, I don't think I've ever used the ball pit. It doesn't sound like I'm missing out on much with the horrible graphics, but um, she'll probably get to the top of her movement skill by the time she gets over there, but you never know. And like I said, Morganite's over here just getting some fishing in. Because her angling ace aspiration, she's so close to having finished. She just needs to catch three more fish. Ooh, that's a cool one. Look at the rainbow fins. Oh, she's apparently caught a rainbow fish before. Well, that one's cool. Oh, wait, no, it did count. That is a new one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught a new fish. Cool. So two more. Please don't pee yourself. Aw! Who is that? I think that's... Is that Rosalite? Who is that? Oz! Yeah, Rosalite is here. She does not look too happy, maybe, because we didn't invite her. I don't know. Of course, she was always my little cranky pants, stompy, stompy puss, so that makes sense for her, too. All right, we're almost to the ball pit. Woo! 
Let's see, let's see you play in the ball pit. I hope that brings up her movement skill. I don't know. Oh my gosh, the ball pit looks atrocious. It looks like she's playing in potato chips. <laughs> ah, wow. They did so bad with it. Like I said, I've never used the ball pit. Oh, oh Morgan and I caught a gem. <laughs> she caught a gemstone, that's funny. She's about to give birth to another gemstone and she caught one while fishing. Okay, yes, it is working on her movement skill, it looks like, so that's good. Oh, apparently going into labor while fishing can make someone who's literal aspiration. And I think she might be level 10 fishing. Like, she likes fishing, but going into labor while fishing will push you to the brink of disliking it. Oh, Morganite. I mean, that kind of matches with my hope to eventually have you change aspirations, but I think disliking it, you just need to calm down, go give birth, and you'll be fine. Oh, that's funny. Well, did she at least... Oh, she needs one more fish. Can you fish? No. Not while you're in labeler, apparently. Oh. You are one away. You can hold it inside of you a little longer. Oh, here comes Wolf Spain for a little pre-parental panic. Like, oh my gosh, I heard you went into labor. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> She's not in a panic. She just wants to get in some fishing. Ah, okay, there's the panic. There's the panic. Okay, uh, Morgan, I, you're not gonna go home. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe she was gonna try to dislike fishing. You fish all the time, girl. Yeah, she's literally level 10 fishing and you're gonna try to tell me you don't like fishing. You're just in a bad mood because you have to pee and you're about ready to give birth. Have baby at the hospital. We'll join her and Wolf Spain, of course, will be coming with. Oh, we brought the toddlers here. I was gonna think that we were gonna abandon them at the uh park well in my mind we would have left them with anti rosalite but it looks like they can come play while their mom gives birth that's so cute they even have all the toddler stuff right here all right girls you you're on that i told you to go to the bathroom you're just washing your hands instead oh morganite you were two feet from the toilet and you chose to wash your uh, hands instead of go well i think when she checks in maybe um she'll maybe oh yeah yeah we're cool she's in a perfect mood now okay i think you already checked in i think you just need to oh no yes maybe you do need to check in maybe i don't know i don't know what she's doing maybe she's just giving birth <laughs> at least the girls are working on their skills watching their mom have a free parental panic. I don't suppose they have a toddler potty around here, would they? Looks like she's headed off to go give birth. Sorry, I'm like more into using the toddler stuff. Like, oh, let's get up all of their stuff. All right, all about you, girl. Giving birth to baby number three, maybe four, we'll see. Since you're a twin, I'm sure twins are gonna be running in the family. Okay, baby time. We're doing a tea position with our doctor. Oh, our doctor is actually really cute. If she's not tea posing, what a cutie. Okay, our patient is in labor. Let's, you know, focus. Oh, she is really cute though. Yeah, baby girl. Oh, I love girls. Yay. All right, I think I'm going to name our baby girl Cameo. That was a kind of a fan favorite. I think Lydia Brazette was the first one to suggest it, but Simber Sanders also seconded it, and maybe some of others of you also like the name. So we're going to go with Cameo. Oh, and it's twins, and we have a boy. Oh, I love it. Okay, I didn't have as many boy names prepared. Oh, I think this is my first mixed gender twins. Oh, 
All right, baby boy is gonna be called Signet, and this was suggested by my friend Rowena, the symboler of the coolest girl. Also, I think she suggested Cameo as well. She gave me a wonderful list of names to work through. So if you have any other suggestions for jewelry themed names for future baby gems, make sure you let me know down below. All right, so we had twins. Ah, uh, wow, I can't believe we're already on baby number four of this generation and total of baby number 14. That's insane. We're, we're just going right through this. The fact that Morganite is a twin herself, I think is definitely helping. I don't even know if we have on a ley line, quite honestly. I can't remember if I did that as one of our lot traits. So yeah cute little baby who is she holding i can't tell oh that was cameo oh and they have magically disappeared all right girls oh i see we are making a mess i think that is our sign to go home so there's our cute new little babies cameo is in the pink crib and signet is in the green crib that's kind of perfect we're gonna give them some love and make sure they are all set up for a good night's sleep hopefully um let's go ahead and feed give all the loving to cameo and signet baby number 13 and 14. can't believe it all right well I feel like we need to like have a little cool down time before I have them immediately jump back into the sack. And <laughs> we don't miss a beat. We're back to working on those skills so we can get these toddlers aged up into kids before our new twins become toddlers tomorrow. But I think we're going to go ahead and leave this episode here. You know, thank you so much for watching and supporting this series. Again, if you have any other name suggestions, I would love to hear them. But until next time, happy simming!